this uh, YouTube is about the difference between a joint probability and a conditional probability in a contingency table. So let's say that you have drunk 185 bottles of wine. Some of them are red, some of them are white, some of them were horrible and you still got a headache, some of them were quite nice but you forgot what they were so you can't buy it again. Anyway, you drank 185 of them. So that is our sample space to begin with, 185. We have a contingency table or cross tabulation. So in each of these cells here, for example, red and horrible, those wines have the, the quality of being both red and horrible. So if here we find we want to know out of the 185 wines, what was the probability that a wine was both horrible and red? So 42 wines have that quality. They were both horrible and they were red. So out of the 185 that you drank, 42, 42 out of 185 have that probability. So the answer to the question, what's the probability of a wine being both red and horrible? The answer is 42 out of 185, and the same for any of the other joint probabilities there. Now, the other question, which is probably a little trickier, is how about a conditional probability? So look just here, just clearing this away so that you can, we don't get confused. Here, notice how it's written. Probability of a wine being horrible that it's that given that it was red. So for example somebody said out of the red wines that you drank how many of them were horrible. So now we are excluding the white wines. We're only talking about the red wines. That's what that vertical bar means. So now our sample space is only these wines at the top, the red wines. We no longer care about the white wines. So the sample space has changed. Out of the horrible wines, 42 of them were red. You drank 103. So out of the red wines, 42 of the 103 were red. So the answer here is here, 42 out of 103. That would be the answer to that. It, this is different. Notice the difference between the probability of the intersection and the second one is when we have a condition. You are changing the sample space. You are restricting the sample space from, first of all, all 185 wines to now just 103 wines, which are the ones it is given that they are red. Here's another example. Let's say uh, somebody says to you, of the wines which were nice that you drank, of the wines which were nice that you drank, how many were white? So now we're looking in this area, aren't we? Because we know, we know that the person is only asking you about the, the nice wines. Why talk about the horrible ones? So the way to write that is going to be P, white given given nice and that is going to be 61 out of 95 there were 95 of them were nice 61 uh, sorry it's going to be 34 34 out of 95 of the 95 nice ones, 34 were white. Thank you.